Welcome to our classic car enthusiast. So we're working on this uh, XK body because the, the owner of it has already booked it in for paint without mentioning it to me. So if it was a bit, uh, seemed a bit annoyed uh, on the last video, it's because uh, I wasn't informed and it kind of pushes us into a corner to meet his deadline, which he never mentioned to me. And, uh, well, until the last minute anyway. Um, and the other thing was we only actually received the parts from Leaping Cats uh, literally 10 days ago, whatever it was, and I obviously didn't have the body here uh, to, to do it, so we weren't over the weekend. Uh, we've, we've got the best part of it done now. Still a lot of work, a lot of fattening to do. So this piece here that's missing, this is what we cut out initially to put the third carburetor uh, pancake filter into, so we're going to have to reinstate this piece here. This is the new box, or the internal box of the inner wing for the uh, triple carburetor. So I'll take it around. And we've had quite a lot of difficulty with this. It's, uh, you can see this is the new box section here, it goes in here. This is where the air filter's inside this. And you can see the reason there's a hole all the way around is it has a double flange on this and there's rubber goes in between the wing and here. You can see this is why this double flange is on it. Sorry, the light's not great. This is the original battery box. Um, and what you have to do is you have to um, uh, rework the original battery box with a, a, a new plate uh, and this, this box here. But it didn't fit very well. The reason this, is, this patch has been put into it, if you like, is normally there's a half round shape on here and it comes across here on the on the twin uh, carburetor cars and for the three carburetor system you don't need it so you have to you know um, rework the battery the original battery box so this is the original from the car 1958 and you can see he's just tacked it in place there just to get it lined up and then he'll make it this flange extended onto here so it's one piece and that's uh, hopefully that will do the job what we've found um, for the Jaguar guys, or anybody doing classical car work, um, is the original battery boxes. So on the XK 150s, uh, they um, had two 6 volt batteries. So it was a 12 volt battery system, and it was positive earth, not negative. These cars will now be negative earth. So it had a 6 volt battery on one side of the wheel arch, and a 6 volt on the other side. On this side, this is where the um, air box is going to go and basically what you have to do is take the original air box from an SE car which is a special equipment or a S specification car which is the triple HD8 carburetors with a high flow head they made very few of them they're very rarely S and go for lots a lot lot more money than the than the uh, just SE car that's not the reason we're doing it we're doing it for, for performance and just because it will not make a lot of difference money-wise uh, because the numbers are not matching and everybody wants matching number cars with cars of this ilk. Anyway, so what we've had to do is you can see here on this one, I'll just turn it around a little bit. So as I said, there's a, there's, a, there's a door goes on here which just clips in place and there's a battery and then the battery on the other side. Because we have a 12 volt battery system, one of these could be used as a toolbox for you know, oil, a bit of water, whatever, keeping the car, some tools. So what we've had to do is build this piece in here. And this is the part we got from Leaping Cats, which is a XK Jaguar um, specialist. And what happens is, is this then goes onto here, as you can see, and makes a complete piece here now. Uh, and this is where the air box is going on the inside of this. Um, and uh, yeah, so but the problem was is uh, this section here, which is to stop any water going inside, there's a, a double lipped area there. This is for putting a seal in against the wing. So as rubber goes inside, very similar to this. This is one that I took out of this one. This is obviously the old rubber, but it obviously sticks out further, about a half an inch further out, and uh, it makes a seal in the wing. But, and obviously, we have to adapt this, we have to take this piece off and you can see this is typical 
uh, of cars where they never used to use prime or, or well through primer. They didn't have it in 1958 when these cars were built. And you can see how rusted that flange is. So we just cut the spot welds out. It was on here like this and we just cut it out because it's not needed. Um, but what we did find, and I'm gonna take some pictures of this and send it to the looking cats, but if I try to put this up here just to show you, and hopefully it will sit. Yeah, okay, I think that'll show. Let's pull that out a little bit more so you can see it. Get you under the light. Okay, so you can see there that that part We've had to elongate the hole because they didn't fit. But you can see if I put this part up to it, that's where it should fit. And it looks okay there. This is the inside of the wing. It takes place of the piece that was there originally, which is much wider and, and slightly longer. And as you can see, if those two holes line up there, these don't. This is where the hole was originally. Or if I line them two up, they don't line up. Yeah. Amir and I are fairly, we're still, we're amateurs, but we're fairly accomplished metal workers. Uh, not, not professional by any means, but and certainly not up to Trev's blog uh, uh, expertise, that's for sure. We don't do it every day, but we're reasonably competent with it, I think. I mean, if we can build an E-Type Jaguar from, from a new Andy's XKs, I think we know metal work quite well without playing around trumpets, but this does not fit the way it should and this is supposed to be a precision piece and this is what I didn't I didn't quite understand how that would not be in line you can see quite clearly that's the case if, if I put this in the center of these two this doesn't line up and that doesn't line up because we have to extend that hole if I then put them two together in the original holes these two don't line up so I was a bit concerned about that. Also, there's another area here which doesn't, doesn't make any sense to me. It's this piece here. This doesn't seem to have any bearings. It's obviously been made that way, but this, I thought maybe it was put in to put some strength into it, but it's a very small panel, so there would be strength in it anyway. And I don't understand what this is for, unless something else is going on there that we have not recognized. Um, anyway, so that's that. And as you can see, if I turn this round, you can see that's where we've put the new fillet piece in there and on top here. We had to put a new piece in because it wasn't covering the whole thing. So now this now fits. I'll put this back on. I'll put this back on properly. This now fits as one piece on there like that. So now it's all covered in. And like I said, there's a seal that goes in here against the wing and another seal in here as well. So in fact, that should literally come across there like that and it will all bolt together. So, but to give you an idea, this is a brand new, this, this is original, this from 1958. This is a brand new piece. This is for my XK, my, my car was in much worse condition. And you can see that this is a different panel. So what you're actually doing is, is this is this is coming off. This top piece has to come off, and also this panel here. So I'll just take it off and just show you how much work is involved in, in putting this air box in. There are two ways to do this. You can do it the way we did initially, which was to cut a section out of the wing for the last pancake filter, and put the very small like uh, K&N or small SU pancake filters on um, but we decided to go the, the whole hog and put it the way an S specification car would be. So obviously if you change it this piece you do not need anymore. This piece on top you don't need so you can just undo that and take this off and this piece here on the side all you need is the flange down here so this now leaves you with this gap so that's exactly this is exactly why this piece is in. If I turn this around the same way, if I turn them two around the same way, you can see where this piece has gone and why. Oh, excuse me. And why 
that section had to be made. You can see obviously there's a U shape in there compared to that one. So there's the bit we filled in and there's the bit and this is the piece we've chopped off as well and this top piece because now the air filter goes into it. So it's been a lot of work but more worrying that, that um, the bits didn't go together. Now a perfect example of this, this is the second air box for, for my car. As you can see the spot wall's not even been cleaned up yet. And you can see quite clearly, this is how the air box goes inside. And you can see quite clearly, I've got two bolts in there and one in there. But you can see that that one there does not line up. Which surprises me because these guys, I've seen these guys work and I've been to their workshop. And unless these are being made or, or they're being outsourced, I don't know. But the fact that that doesn't even line up worries me somewhat. So maybe they're being made, I, I don't know, I would have thought they'd been made in-house. But that's quite, a, that's quite a bit, you have to elongate that hole and then re-weld it up. Um, okay, there's no bolt in it, but even that is a bit of an issue as well. If you, if you look there, you can see there's actually a hole in the back. It, it, that's not going to pull forward. I know there's going to be a seal in it. So there's some things that I'm not quite happy about. So what I'm going to do now is take some photographs of this stuff and send it to Leaping Cats because the biggest problem, as I said, as we found, is these plates. I mean, you can see they've been beautifully, uh, the captive nuts have been beautifully um, put into there. They've, they've been pressed into place, you can see that. And it's, and it's really nicely done. And these holes look perfect for the flange. And I think the reason they made these holes this big is uh, there's quite a few bits to go underneath this before the box is put in and these are to give you wiggle room So the idea is you have a very big washer to, to, to uh, spread the load But if the hole is down here slightly or up here You've got enough distance to still get it in place and that was why they made them like this But for some reason it just didn't seem to line up right, so I don't know what the issue is um, and I as I say I'll take photographs and and send it to them and say, you know, what, what, what's the situation now? So what I'll do is I'll turn the camera off and I'll take and show you the inner wing on the car. So that's the whole thing in there together. You can see how it's bolted across there, it's nice and strong. I'll take elongate that out a little bit, but apart from that, this is all nice. And it all fits together, there's the door. I'll take it around and show you. Show you the other way. This is how it looks from the inside now. Hopefully that's showing up. And then these battery doors you can see there's two, so you just basically turn them. And the door comes off and you would get to the battery. Battery would be on this little plinth here. So, yeah, that looks nice, nice fit in the corner. So, I've got it all primed up now. We actually made, or me and made that plate and didn't use the original one because uh, it needs to be adapted a bit. So, you'd obviously want to put some kind of sealant through there. There'll be a rubber gasket along here, here, and right down the wing there, as you can see. That's why I've got this double edged on it but not down here, and then there's a bolt comes through on this wing to secure the wing. And that's it, so that's a new piece in. Just need to do a little bit of fettling there and, and get that all, get it all done up, painted and primed. Yeah, so, another job done.